the tourism industry has embraced, has embraced the Zimbabwe gold, which we naturally call the zinc. We are happy with the introduction of the Zimbabwe currency called the zinc. It appears to be strong. It's a currency that we have already embraced. It's a currency that we have already uh, that we are already using for our pricing models. Almost all operators actually are now having a dual pricing system. We have the foreign currency price and uh, the local price in zinc. The introduction of a strong currency helps us um, grow the domestic market. It helps the domestic uh, tourists to plan, to budget, and uh, then visit various tourism destinations in the country without the nightmare of thinking that by the time they get to travel, the rest will have changed. The pricing models that we have at the moment, the relationship between the ZIG and various um, major currencies of the world, is determined by the daily rates as they are published by the Reserve Bank. We are confident that the currency is going to remain strong and it is actually going to grow our domestic cake. As long as it is uh, strong, it also makes um, the buying power of the local people stronger. So we expect that as we go into other major public holidays such as uh, Defence Forces Day, then Christmas at the end of the year and various other tourism shows that we have, the local people are going to embrace travel as one of their major, major uh, decisions in um, trying to make themselves happy. And uh, the chief enabler to all the travels and uh, the decisions that people make is the predictability and availability of the currency. And in this case, yes, as two operators, we are quite sure that uh, the new currency will work and uh, we will support it with the best that we can.